G'day Bambies, Kaleido here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are creating the kids from Stranger Things, the Netflix television show in The Sims 4. So I'm really keen to get started on this because I just recently watched the new thriller trailer which came out. I'll have the link down below for you guys. Uh, but yeah, Stranger Things is something that I really, really love. It's a really like it's like a thriller kind of uh, scary ish 80s themed TV show. I don't know how else to describe it. It's kind of mystery. I really, really love it. It's just so cool. And because it is Netflix, all of the episodes come out all at once, which is fantastic. So season two is coming out this October and I'm just so thrilled. I can't wait. And it looks like a lot of stuff is happening, um, especially when it comes to the, oh, oh my gosh, what is it called? Uh, people are calling it the Hessel Hydra or something like that. But you know that if you guys have watched the first season, you would know that little gloop that will like spat into the sink. Oh my gosh, there's going to be some spoilers in this video, by the way, you guys. Uh, but I have a feeling that that little goop or that slug turned into that giant Friggin' I don't even know what it is. It's like a giant thing in the sky and it's like has big legs and you guys need to watch the trailer and then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like a giant monster and I thought the monster was scary in season one. Well, this one is gigantic and it's gonna, it's gonna be a crazy season. I'm definitely going to get some popcorn and stuff like that when it comes out. But that's so far away. It comes out Halloween for Americans. Well, I guess it is Halloween for Australians too, but like it's meant to be a spookier time of year for you guys in the US. While here in Australia, that's like summer. So not very spooky time of the year for us, but oh well, like sunshine and rainbows, right? Goes so well with Stranger Things. Uh, but yeah, today I had so much fun creating, or when I recorded this video anyways, you guys are probably seeing this a little bit later on in the week um, because I'm pre-recording a bunch of footage as I'm going on a bit of a vacation while I'm actually seeing my dad. Um, but anyways, I'm really excited that I got to make these kids in The Sims 4. I don't know why I didn't do this last year when I watched the first season but at least we're doing it now. So I did find some really cool custom content for Eleven here and she was actually quite a challenge to create because I don't know why, but oh, I had the same issue when I was making Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones, Amelia Clark. It's really hard to get some like female features. Uh, well, I'm not saying the boys are easier to make, but for me, they are. <laughs> for me, they are. And for some reason, I'm more of a perfectionist when it comes to making the female faces. And I just couldn't get 11 correct. I think it was her nose. It's sometimes really different, difficult to get the smile and the noses correct in The Sims 4. But I still had a lot of fun with it. And also trying to figure out like what the kids would wear as their other outfits. Uh, we haven't really seen Eleven wear other clothing before besides what she's already wearing. So uh, I kind of just guessed and was like, oh, maybe she went into, uh, went into, what's his name, Mike's sister's, I can't remember her name. Oh my gosh. But maybe he went into his sister's wardrobe again and just grabbed out some clothing for her because that's what he did for her originally. Uh, but yeah. Oh man, I need to rewatch season one so that I'm back on top of everything and know all of their names etc uh, but it was kind of cool to look up all of the actors so uh, that was kind of neat that I got to do that while doing this creator sim because I didn't actually know all of their names or anything uh, I already knew Millie Brown. Uh, she's the actor for Eleven, but I'm pretty sure everyone is in love with her. She's just such a sweetheart. She actually has a British accent. She's British, go figure. And <laughs> and she is just so sweet. Actually, all of the boys, they're sweet too. Um, but the one that's like kind of 
on headlines at the moment, well, at the time, uh, is Mike, the actor for Mike. Not this one. This is uh, Dustin, who is, I can't remember the guy's name. I'm really bad with names. Oh my gosh. But the actor for Mike, he is meant to be an it boy now, like a kid it boy for Strange Out Things. Like, I don't know what that means, but he has swag. Like, for a kid, oh my gosh. I was like, damn, this kid is cooler than cool. Yeah, he actually is such a cool cat, like, sort of kid, and I am jelly of his style. Uh, but yeah, anyways, back to Dustin here. I gave all of the kids their last names of their actors because for some reason online I couldn't find the actual surnames of the characters, which is kind of interesting. So Dustin is probably one of my favorite characters because he's just such a sweetheart. He's always smiling and he's kind of brave. Mike would be the bravest, but Dustin is kind of like his buddy, I reckon. I just feel like Dustin is just having a great time, you know, all the time. He's always having a great time. And even though so much bad stuff is happening in Strange Things, like so much mystery and people going missing and stuff, he's always cracking jokes, smiling, and he really does lighten the mood a little bit, a bit of a com comedic relief. Um, so it's very nice to have Dustin in the show. And I didn't know until I was actually looking up the actors and trying to recreate their facial features that he actually has green eyes. And I know sometimes you guys tell me, oh, their eyes are too bright or something. I do have a custom content like eye pack going on. But even with that, I can't get the eye colors 110% correct. So sometimes they'll be lighter, sometimes they'll be darker. Very sorry for that, guys, but I have to just make do with what I have. So his eyes are a brighter green than they actually are, but I thought that this sort of represented his eye color a lot nicer than the other shades that we had. Uh, but yeah, it was so cool to play around with trying to dress up the boys, especially in the 80s theme. I just love the whole aesthetic of the show, the lighting. It's just fantastic and... Uh, the director, terrible with names once again, did such a fantastic job at portraying that time. And, you know, we we are having a lot more movies and TV shows coming out nowadays in the 80s theme, which is just so cool because, I don't know, I think everyone went through, like, loving the 90s, but I feel like 80s is coming back, man. It's coming back. And now we're up to Mike, who is the brave one. He's the cool it boy actor I was talking about before. It was kind of interesting creating each of the boys' faces because they are so different in their own way. I used to actually get Mike and Will confused because in all season one, basically, big spoiler here, Mute your microphones or your, <laughs> mute your, mute your screen, turn off your speakers real quick. But anyways, Will is hardly ever in season one because he's just in the um, upside down world and we don't really see much of him at all. So I really got him confused with Mike. I have no idea why, uh, but they're they're very different, but they also have very similar features in the same way. And I think that's why in the trailer, the thriller trailer, I noticed that Will now has a bowl cut. Like his hair looks like it's been straightened and he's got a bowl cut. I can't remember if he had it that in the season one, but he does in season two and it is extreme. Oh my gosh, why did his mom do that to him? I can't. Oh, the bowl cuts. Oh, man. Um, But yeah, anyways, I think this Mike boy, the actor for him anyway, is going to be quite a looker when he gets older. His very pretty face. Uh, the other boy is very pretty also, I have to say. They're so well dressed in the show. And oh, my God, props to the people behind the scenes who just put this whole show together like the music is fantastic just everything the scenes shots 
love it, love it. If you guys haven't watched Stranger Things yet, go check it out. It is on Netflix. And not to mention, there is a badass chick at the forefront, Eleven, uh, Millie Brown, the actor's name. She is kick-ass. I love her to bits. Her character is just so cool and she's so powerful. Oh my gosh, her power is epic and... I don't even know. I was so scared at the end of the last season, but when the um, sheriff, I think it was the sheriff, was putting her food into the box, I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. That's her favorite. I We don't have them here in Australia, but I think they were like something, was it corn or was it like marshmallow? It was something different that we don't really have here in Australia. So I can't remember it off the top of my head, but it was something very sweet that he was putting in there. Might have even been like peanut butter or something. I don't know, but it was a biscuit of some sort. And that was such a cute little nod to her still being alive because I was really sad at the end. I thought she was going to die and luckily now we know for sure in season two that she is going to be there because of that trailer they showed a lot of her living in the upside down world she doesn't look that great she's obviously been having to run away from this giant vessel hydra thing that is roaming around and it looks like the world's of like the normal world and the upside down world are starting to overlap a little bit. And at the end there, she did like punch through into the real world, which was like, whoa, oh my gosh, where is this going? <sighs> and oh, now we are making Will, the boy who went missing and somehow survived in the upside down world for so long. He did great to survive. I actually thought he was going to die. And that scene when they go and grab him, I was like, oh man, he is gone ski. But anyways, it was nice making him. We couldn't really do his hair bowl cut. So it doesn't look totally perfect, but we gave him a strap shot anyways. Um, but yeah, guys, I will have most of the custom content like that I downloaded for this video down below. Uh, I think it was like three links or so, like a shirt and um, also definitely Eleven Stress because that's so iconic if you guys want to have that in your game. I did end up putting a face mask on top of all of them because I think it really made their features more prominent and kind of made them look more like the actors just a little bit, kind of pulled it all together. Uh, but I really love their outfits. So cool. I know they're not totally perfect, but I didn't download a lot of custom content. Not really custom content user here when it comes to alpha or anything. I like to keep it simple, max is match generally. Uh, but yeah, so dressing them up was so much fun because of the 80s theme. And I think it would have been really cool to grow up in that era uh, I would have loved it. It was a bit more darker than nowadays. We have so many different uh, fabrics and colors nowadays in our clothing. Well, back then, it seemed to be a lot darker, like, well, especially in the 80s. I'm not saying they didn't have other fabrics, but definitely in this show, it's more like plaid, stripes, uh, like dark reds, dark browns, greens, yellows. They're very like rich colors, but they're not oversaturated, if that makes any sense. Uh, but yeah, anyways, now we are up to the last boy. This is Lucas, who was a bit of a scaredy cat in the show. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lucas nearly ditched the kids, or I think he did ditch them. Man, I need to rewatch the show. I have terrible memory. Uh, he wasn't my favorite character because he was a bit of a scaredy cat, but he came through in the end and he was very helpful and a true friend to the rest of the kids. Uh, really, the whole show is about these kids. Uh, if you stop thinking about like the upside down world and the monster and stuff, you could see it as them as a group of friends overcoming an obstacle together and just, you know, happiness friendship, all that stuff. I think it was really sweet when you think of it that way. But when you really think about it, it's not that it's not that nice and 
sunshine and rainbows is it <laughs> uh, but this guy is actually quite cute the actor smiles a lot in his photos that I was looking at and I actually don't think I did his character justice because I couldn't make the sim look like he was smiling 24 7 and I'm not saying that he's always smiling I think it's just his facial features like um just how his face rests is a smile which is actually the best thing ever like honestly who wouldn't want to be smiling 24 7 actually that sounds a little bit demonic but, <laughs> but we're, we're gonna roll with it okay i think it was adorable and i wish there was a way to kind of change away uh sim smiled because i really feel like uh the muscles in a person's face how they react to things and how they hold their you know their expression really kind of changes how they look but you know what it's it's the sims it makes it a bit difficult it's it's a game you know you can't get everything perfect um, but yeah he's looking really cute with this little jersey but I wanted to change it up he was wearing a little like I, I could see it underneath a jacket it was a blue jersey like a sports jersey of some sort but I wanted him to match the other boys a little bit so I changed it to something a bit more stripey uh, but yeah it was a little bit difficult doing all of their other outfits like I said we don't really get a look at what they would wear so I just guessed uh, doing their formal and party wear was kind of cool because I kept thinking like what if these boys went to like a dance or something that's what I would want them to wear like that's what I was thinking because oh man going to a dance like a prom or whatever or formal back in the 80s would have been so bomb wish I could have grown up in that age honestly I think it's so much better um than doof doof yep I know I uh, know all that house music though alrighty guys well I'm going to end this video here I hope you all enjoyed these guys are of course on the gallery for you guys to download uh, my name on there is just collider um, but yeah let me know down below in the comments if you guys are excited for season two of stranger things I know it's a little bit early but I just wanted to share with you guys how excited I am. And let me know also, are you going to rewatch season one? I definitely am because I need to, I need to catch up apparently after recording this video, I'm realizing how much I don't remember from season one and I definitely need to give it a rewind. All right guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I love you all to bits and I'll see you all in another video very, very soon. Goodbye.